Hi, this is the Phoenix. Back to another energy update for the sign of Scorpio. Just keep in mind, these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Scorpio. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming true for you guys this week. For some of you, you're about to do some traveling. For others of you, this is a mindset change. You're going to be looking at things differently. You're ready for some forward movement in your life. You're tired of being stagnant or stuck. Yeah. You want growth in your life. You want development. You want to have something abundant happen for you. You have a particular person in mind that you want to have some type of connection with. And for some of you, you're going to have to travel to this person. But you want to start something with this person, some a relationship. You want things to blossom and bloom between the both of you. Interesting. Hang on one minute. Wow, okay. <clears throat> but there is something that you have to cut out from your life first. There is something that is definitely holding you back and you need to release it. Something that is causing you a lot of confusion, stress, and anxiety. Some days it's up, some days it's down. Something like that would only keep you confused, Scorpio. But this romance that you've been wishing upon, wishing for, I'm seeing somebody going to a wishing well. So somebody has definitely been um, wishing to have some type of romantic connection with a particular person. So it's like you're manifesting this person. Interesting. So some of you are definitely trying to manifest this relationship with this person because you're ready to move forward with them. That was quick. Okay. So there is something that you need to walk away from first before you can move towards this person. Now, there is something or someone in your life that really has you stuck. You've been emotionally unfulfilled for a while. For some of you, and for those of you that are not in a relationship, there is something that you definitely need to walk away from. It could be a third party situation. For some of you. So it's like you're in a relationship, but you want to be with somebody else. Because you have a lot of options. But you're willing to give up those options to have a stable new beginning with a particular person. You want to have a brand new stable beginning with a lot of abundance and a lot of stability. For some of you, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Could be a female as well <clears throat> but you are not sure if you're if you or this person really you don't know how this person feels that is the that is what it is is coming to you don't know if this person feels the same way for you as you do for them so what you've been doing is playing a little game with this person where you refuse to acknowledge the love you have for them so you're kind of emotionally unavailable to this person right now, but you know you want to go towards them. You know you want a relationship with them. But like I said, before you could go towards them, you need to walk away from something that is not serving you. Because you want something really stable with this person. Yeah. A Capricorn, the 
you could have it in your child or you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but you're trying to let go of this type of toxicity that is happening within your life right now. It could be a person or it could be a situation, but you're trying to let go of it. Actually, for most of you, you have already let go of that toxic situation. Yeah. But some of you are facing your karma. Or the person that you were dealing with is now facing their karma. Or you are taking revenge on someone. Becoming the person's karma. My wonderful Scorpios. Yeah. But you're trying to find the courage to say no to everything else that you know is keeping you away from this person or this situation. For some of you, it could be a Leo you're dealing with. But you're trying to find the strength and the courage to walk away. Yeah, you're ready to charge in and tell your truth to someone. You're ready to communicate with someone, offering them something very stable and committed. Because you no longer want to feel the lack and the, you, you literally miss this person. For some of you, I feel like you've never been in a relationship with this person, but you have this connection to this person. It's either something that started and then it, it it stopped very quickly. And you no longer want to feel being left out in the cold. You no longer want to feel like you're not good enough. You no longer want to feel like you're missing out on life. You no longer want to be in regret as to not taking the risk or the chance that you should have. You definitely want to come out of that feeling of being less than or not worthy of. Yeah. This person sees you differently to the way your current person does. This person has made you feel things that you've never felt before. Yeah. This person told you the truth about a lot of stuff. And you respected them for that. The Scorpios like people to be honest and truthful with them. And this person was really brutally honest with you. And you appreciated that about them. They never tried to sell you anything, never tried to make you make a choice. <clears throat> but luck is on your side. Divine timing is at play here and it is time for you to get what it is you want. So whatever you've been wishing for or manifesting, it is definitely coming in for you. Because this person that you see to be your stability, your long-term success, someone that is very kind, caring, nurturing, someone that can definitely be the other half of you, that is how you see this person. You have this person literally up on a pedestal. I will not be surprised to see the six of ones come out here. Because you think very highly of this person. Yeah. But there is some unfinished business where you are right now. You have to decide to walk away from wherever you're at. There is a cycle that is closing out, but it hasn't yet fully closed out. You have to definitely come truthful to yourself and to the person that you're currently dealing with and walk away from them. So before you could even think of having a new beginning with this person you have to leave the other person behind and you have to finally stand in your own truth now you may like this person because they told you the truth but it is time for you to stand in your own truth and tell yourself the truth yeah for some of you it could be a sagittarius you're dealing with but you feel like this person doesn't feel the same way you do you feel like there is an imbalance in this situation where you feel more for them than they feel for you. Because you are genuinely happy when you are around this person or when you're speaking to this person. This person brings out, a, okay, they have a light in them that you are definitely drawn to. 
your happiness or the happiest you've ever been has been when you speak to this person or when you meet up with this person but it doesn't feel like it is a, a relationship just yet but you want it to be so this could be a friend right now this could just be a friend yeah but you're afraid if you offer them a new beginning when it comes to love that you're not ready for them and you're not because if you're still connected to someone else you need to close off that cycle first so if there is unfinished business between you and this person you need to deal with it let it go and walk away from it otherwise this new beginning with this person will prolong even longer a female aries could be involved somehow this doesn't feel like somebody you're dealing with this feels like an outside party now this person has been lying to you manipulating you and can't control even themselves but they're trying to control your situation be very careful of that energy because this person wants to keep you stuck this person wants to keep you stuck and this person doesn't want you to grow this person doesn't want you to move past anything yeah because they want you to stay stuck in your head stuck in this cycle stuck with this person and just overall stuck yeah you and this person is not in communication right now because of something that happened with this person so you had some type of interference happen on your end that caused this person to now be very defensive against you <clears throat> so before you could move forward or move towards this particular person that you actually want a relationship with you definitely have to close off that relationship that you're currently in because some of you are actually in a relationship with somebody else or having sex with somebody else but you have to close off that before you can move towards this person because yeah. you think very highly of this person you see this person as your other half you admire this person you admire the fact that they're not afraid to tell you the truth because in a world full of lies, it's very refreshing to meet someone that will tell you the truth. Even if it is hard to accept. But you want to move towards that person and you want something to work out with that person. But there are cycles in your life that need to close off first. So why don't you focus on closing those things off first before you focus on going towards this person? I feel so lost without you. Or you are creating your reality, Scorpio. Keep that in mind. You are the one that needs to understand that if you keep in this cycle and in this loop, you might actually lose what it is you want. Because you feel lost without this person because this person has stopped communicating with you i love the way you kiss me so for some of you it may have gotten so far as to you sharing some type of intimacy with this person in the sense of a kiss everything is going to work out you will see so you're trying to reassure yourself that things will work out between you and this person i am crushing on you but i'm scared to tell you how i feel a lot of you haven't told this person actually how you feel like i said for some of you it is it feels like a friendship but this person brings out the best in you this is my life i live it how i choose that is what it is you're going to be saying to someone very soon you're everything i desire there is no one else for me but you so you already chose this person Yet physically, you are not with this person because you need to close off the cycle with the actual person that you're with. Because you're, <coughs> sorry, you're definitely in love with this individual. You see, you have this person literally up on a pedestal. Because there is a sense of admiration coming off these cards for the, for the people out there that this is going to resonate for. 
But right now you're stuck in a, a emotional tornado where you're just spinning around in the same circle, hoping that it will eventually drop you somewhere safe. Spirit advice for my Scorpios. What do they need to know? Boundaries. Where do you need to set better boundaries? Hmm, interesting. Warrior woman, have you answered your deepest call? This card for me makes me feel or think of the Queen of Swords. So there is something that you need to cut out, some type of truth you need to communicate, and something you need to let go of. And you need to let someone or a situation know that you are no longer willing to stay caught up. Your guidance is divinely guided. Do you see this person walking away? They are leaving all this behind and walking towards the light. Walking towards a new beginning. Walking towards their next adventure. So some of you may be afraid to leave where you are. But know that where you're going, you're actually going to find the love that you want. Bringing new creation. Dreaming a new world into being. You see, some of you guys are definitely manifesting this person. It's all coming together. Intuitive, intuitive hits. Soul tribe. Mm -hmm. No. Wait. Pause. Say no. You guys are currently in a relationship and you need to say no to that person. Separate yourself from that person and definitely move forward to the person that you want to be with. Because you have a lot of love for this new person. But you have to close off that cycle first. Alright? So this is what I have for you guys. I hope it helps. Have a good one.